What's up guys, uh, welcome back to the next uh, video on learning PHP. My name is QD Azani and you guys are watching my channel Cryowood. Alright, so in this video we're going to show you guys um, the break and continue with the, with the loops, with the for loop. So in the previous video we've seen you guys uh, seen the for each loop, so how we're going to manipulate our array. So in this video we're going to see what is the break and continue, how you guys going to break uh, uh, your loop. So there is uh, in programming there is in some instances you got a guy is going to be in a position that you guys want to break your loop. You guys don't want to continue. Or in the some inst another instances you guys uh, then you guys require to continue your loop without breaking. So then we're going to see what is the the both of the continue and break in this uh, video. To save time, I just create a file here. So you guys go ahead and create a new file here in the control structure. So we'll go ahead and uh, replace our HTML. And uh, we display some sort of a uh, nice message say uh, break and continue. So break and continue loops from the PHP, and uh, we're gonna come here say. Uh, you guys uh, we have a race for example we have athlete and our athlete is gonna run uh, say uh, 30 meters and um, with the for loop we're gonna see with the for loop because for loop we gotta initialize from one and goes go all the way to 30 meters and uh, we're gonna see first how we're gonna create the for loop so you guys go ahead and uh, create your php tag here and um, uh, for some reason the h1 is coming i don't want it all right so now i have uh, my php tags and if i do for uh, for loop and if you guys see that sublime text already fills up the um, the structure for me so if i go i from the, say i i from one from one meter and then you guys go ahead and do the i to 30 meters for example i plus plus this is like running stepwise so we come here and we go equal some sort of um, message so because uh, we're gonna see if our uh, athlete is gonna run all this race so we're gonna say yeah uh, the distance reached okay so the distance reached and what's the distance reached and uh, that distance we're gonna say in uh, meters all right and then you guys want to pre put your uh, break here so i'm going to put the break here to jump on the next line so uh, we're going to say that distance has reached we're going to test our for loop uh, we're going to say i is equal to one and i goes all the way to 30 because we want 30 meters and i plus plus to increment it so for our, our athlete is going to run all the way here and the distance reached what's the distance and we're gonna display some sort of nice message that our um, uh, athlete has won. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna refresh and we're gonna see our break. And if you guys look at here, our athletes, the distance reached one meter, then two meters, all the way to 29 meters, because here we, our loop is from uh, one all the way to 30. So for example, if you include this, Then it's going to be 30 meters and you guys after that after your loop you guys want to create uh, some sort of uh, message yeah you have one okay so our athlete has uh, because our athlete has reached to 30 meters and our athlete has uh, one if you guys look in here so you, our athletes one meter, two meter, all the way to 30, and now our athlete has one. So how are you guys gonna break the loop? Say for example, if you guys want your athlete to have a break. All right, so we're gonna come here, and uh, you guys uh, put some sort of um, break that uh, you want your athlete to have your uh, break. So say if, if I is equal to say 15, and then you wanna echo, then uh, you guys want to break or you want you you put your break before your uh, message so just put your break and then you say your athletes 
you need to stop for uh, hydration for example for water or hydration so it is going to stop for for break for uh, break and hydration because we want our athlete to stop for uh, hydration to have uh, some sort of water and then um, after that uh, okay so if you want to stop for uh, hydration or you guys want to stop completely it's up to you guys so you guys wanna so now you guys uh, we will be put a break and we want our athlete to stop when it's reached to 15 so we're gonna see if our athlete stops So now uh, our um, loop's gonna run all the way to 14 meters and you need to stop for a break. Hydration. So yeah, you have won the race because our athletes hasn't won the race. It's just, uh, we're gonna remove this message because uh, we are not, uh, after this, if you guys looking here, the body of the loop is displays this message, but not this message because the break just breaks everything, whatever here. But not displaying the reason you guys see that the, this message here is because it's out of the loop that's why because computer reads line by line and when it reaches here it's going to stop whatever here inside this uh, after the break it's not going to read anything inside the body of the loop but this is the body of the loop here all the way here and you guys don't see this message but you guys see this uh, another message so if you guys go ahead and uh, put a br it's gonna break and if you guys look that's what the break loop is you have won the race because that's out of the body of the loop but you guys see the rest the all the, because all of them is inside the body of the loop and as soon as it reach, reach here the break it stops it stops everything it's not gonna go ahead till 30 so now we know that the break uh, breaking the loop so what about if you guys want to continue for example so we're going to copy this one and uh, we want to put it here and uh, say for example you guys want to say 15 you guys want to say continue continue and uh, you guys want to so, say when it reached to 15 you want to continue but when it reached to 25 you guys want the, your um, our athlete to uh, have some sort of break so you don't give up you do not stop not stop continue and don't give up you guys wondering i'm using this comma here is because i'm using double comma here so when you guys using double double comma you and the comma here inside the PHP is very clever but you guys can use three commas just remember that all right so now our uh, when our uh, athlete reached 15 meters we want to tell the athlete that you just uh, stop or you guys want to put this whatever uh, uh, the distance reached okay so now the four loops gonna go uh, gonna read this the distance reached all the way here to 15 and after the 15 it's going to run and all the way to 25 and after the 25 it's going to stop so and then you guys going to see this message but because um, our users our um, athlete is going to stop till 25 so you the users not not winning the race because the user is stopping at 25 our athlete is going to stop at 25 all right so you go you guys go ahead and if you guys look in here, uh, our loops going all the way to 14. Uh, you do not stop, continue, and that's our um, continue, continuing the loop. And after the 15, because not showing the 15, because it hits this to 15. And at the 15, it's getting this message, and the can distance reached 16 meters, 17, all the way to 25. When it reached 25, it's our uh, athlete is going to stop for uh, hydration. It means after that the loop is not running. So this is the continuing while loop. This is I think. Uh, so if you guys looking here, we are starting from one and we're going to go all the way to 30 meters and that's running, I plus plus, 
And if uh, we reach to 15, we want to tell our uh, athlete to do not stop, continue and don't give up. And when it reach to I is equal to 25, 25 meters, then we want to, uh, we, we are telling our athlete to stop. So, and then this displaying message uh, going to display all the way here, reach all the way here because our loops going in every iteration, you know, every iteration, every running step. So when it reaches to 15, it displays this one. Then when the, um, our computer, our program can encounters this continue command, then it's gonna go keep on going after 15. Then when it reaches to here, then this code gonna run. And then um, when it reaches to 15, 25, then when we instruct our athlete to stop for a break, then this uh, echo here, then this one stops. The iteration stops at 25. So this is the continue and this is a break. You guys can uh, think of other examples as well. You guys can think of uh, any other. Th I think this is the best example I can think of uh, to for you guys to understand the break and continue because that's exactly for the same as the race or something that sometimes you guys uh, telling um, your friend or um, or your, your relatives to say washing the dishes and when reach to some point uh, you guys telling that um, it, the, he or she should continue and then uh, when it reach to a certain point he or she should stop should have a break or something then that's how the continuing break works inside the PHP all right guys uh, this is for this video this is a continuing break very short video if you guys got any question or comment leave in the comment box otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video and bye